What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We finally got some Chrissy Chella up on this channel, am I right? Today, we're trying for the first time ever Chrissy Chella's brand, Honor Active. Have you heard of Honor Active? If you have Instagram and you know who Chili, Chili. <laughs> So ever since Chrissy Chella, the queen herself, came out with her own activewear line, I've been dying to try it, but I always kind of never went through with it until I saw the new colors that launched. Just recently, I saw some pops that I couldn't deny. You know I love my brights, right? So when I saw it all around, I feel like it's really like picking up some steam. That's when I said, all right, girl, you know what? I'm gonna grab my hands right now on it. So I only have a couple of things today. It is still relatively a newer brand. I don't even think it's like a year old yet, is it? So let's go ahead and hop into it, y'all. But if you are an activewear addict like myself, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I have new videos every single week, trying all sorts of different brands out. And follow me on IG and TikTok so you are always up to date with everything. Okay guys, so these are brand stinking new releases. Tell me about these colors. These are the classic seamless leggings. <sighs> I got two colors, I, I couldn't, it was a tie. <laughs> we got Guava and Lagoon. Thank you Chrissy Chella for making Seamless your priority. Looking at their site, all I see available is the classic Seamless, so I'm pretty sure that's really all they got going on right now. But I gotta say that's a pretty good thing because they're focused on the quality of this and then if they expand, they know it's the right time to expand. So straight up man, like these pops of colors caught my eye. I'm still kind of in summer mode, kind of going into fall mode. I don't know which one I am yet. So I'm not gonna lie, I haven't tried any of these on yet. I wanted to wait for my first impression to be filmed on camera for you guys. We have the high waist seamless look. It's not as soft as I thought. I thought it would be a lot like silkier soft than this just from what I was looking at on screen. But when you get it in person, it does have that major durability factor. This is not a thin legging at all. There's actually no booty contour now that I'm looking at it. I'm a little shook by that. Come on, Chris and Chella. I'm not sure how this is gonna look on my glutes. Let's hope for the best. You have a little bit of detailing up top, but nothing crazy. You have a bunch of ribbed detailing though. I'll give them that. It's looking nice, thick rib down the side of your leg. So there is a little bit of movement. And in terms of logo, you do have her honor active. And guys, if I say owner active by accident, I've been working on that. Am I the only one that wants to keep saying owner? Don't ask. It's a printed logo, pretty basic. I also have the matching sports bras. What are we working with, ladies? Ooh, so this has like that silky strap where it's a little bit shiny. It is adjustable. It's a nice crisscross patty wax strap. I like that, maybe back day, we'll see. I'm not gonna lie, these are just really straightforward, like basic seamless sports bra leggings kind of vibe. There's nothing too crazy about that. These are just kind of more or less staple pieces that I feel like any gal could rock. I do find that the backing is a little bit cool. It swoops down. Instead of going straight across, which can kind of get boring after a while, you do have a little more back showing than usual. So, okay, I can rock and roll with that cella. I don't know how supportive these are gonna be. So let's go try everything on. Hands down, really loving this sports bra. My girls right now. They feel like they look good, do they? I definitely feel a moderate support going on here. I love the removable bra pads. It's got everything I really like in a sports bra, showing the girls off just a little bit, but not too, too much over the top. The straps are really beautiful. Like This is a glamorous sports bra. I will definitely give her that. There's no side boob going on, so that's definitely a plus. I'm feeling like this is the type of sports bra that works for me and my busts, okay? I absolutely love the straps. They're my favorite. That little bit of shimmer, if you're outside, especially with this color, then yeah, it's gonna look gorgeous. I truly think my size small is perfect. I would not size up and I would not size down, but if in between sizes, I'd probably size up a little bit because I wouldn't want it smaller than this. But girl, I'm gonna be completely honest with you right here, like about the leggings. <laughs> They were a little bit difficult to get up. Like they just kind of wanted to hang out right here. There was a lot of tugging going on, pulling them up. This is a size small. I'm feeling like they're true to size, but I don't really feel like the backing here is working very well for me. I kind of had a feeling when there was no cheek separation. I feel 
like the material in between my cheeks is just hovering over. I don't feel like anything's actually grabbing. There's no camel toe though. There's no dreaded CT. So that's awesome. It's definitely working for the front, but the back, and it's pretty sheer too. I would probably say it's like 80% squat proof. It's not 100%. Not really surprised, this color is kind of hard to pull off with being squat proof as it is. I feel like the compression in the band is nice, but back here just doesn't feel as compressive. I just feel like everything right here is just, just not grabbing where I want it to. I feel like sizing up, you're asking for this to just, just be wide open and maybe even start shifting down on you. But if you sized down, I definitely think that your cheeks would just be popping through the material like no other because of its sheerness. So I would probably just stick true to size. The stretch and the compression's really good though. I I'm gonna give her that. Overall, it's a beautiful set. The colors are spot on. The stretch, the flexibility, the material feels pretty durable, kind of rugged. Pink Power Ranger. Again, the pink is about 80% swap proof, so. So yeah, guys, different colors, same situation all around, still fitting exactly like the blue did. Not super squat proof, and it's just kind of feeling a little odd in the back for me. So I also have one of the really dope sweatsuits. I have their classic lounge sweat shorts in this deep cocoa color. And to match, I got their crew sweater. I automatically love the crew sweater because of the really pretty stitching. So this is quality shiz. On my sweats, I really love the nice embroidery. Oh, that touch alone goes a long way in my book. They also have it on the sweatshorts as well. So the logo is completely stitched in rather than printed. Yes. Nice big zippered pockets. I'm so happy sweatshorts with zippers is now becoming a thing. I think every baggy item of clothing needs a zipper when you have a pocket on it. Nobody likes to lose their belongings. This straight up looks very, very boxy. That's the first thing I noticed. It's got a super boxy look to it. I can probably vibe, it depends on how it actually looks. But what I'm loving is the little detailing over here. You have a hem breakup on the sleeve, like right below the elbow area. It looks like one of those sweaters that are on the verge of being more on the cropped side. This is not going to be one of those sweaters that go past your bum completely. Okay. I'm definitely a fan of this sweatsuit right here. Actually, believe it or not, the inside's really rugged, kind of rough feeling. So this is not your buttery soft, like, cozy up teddy kind of sweater, it's not like that. It's not like skims, where everything just felt really soft and luscious. This is, has a little more of that rugged, almost like after the beach feel. I do love the fit, I was right, it comes a little bit like semi-cropped. You have the nice ribbed at the bottom, ribbed cuffs up here. I like this kind of rib because if you're wearing jeans or something, you can tuck it in really nice, this little patch here, and then it flows over really casually, so. It definitely has that nice oversized feel. That look is totally oversized. You could size down if you wanted to. I happen to like this look. Pair of jeans in the fall time? Yes, please. So the shorts are cute. These are, these are where it's at, okay. You got a high waist band, accentuating your curves a little bit. I really love the fit. It's not riding up my Gucci any. Everything's the same exact material, so these shorts are the same material as the sweater. These shorts are reminding me of Gymshark's slim fit, those throw-on shorts that were really popular last year. That same material, the kind of where it looks a little bit lengthy, it's giving me those vibes. Not totally something I would work out in, but don't get it twisted, like pretty much anything else I'm doing, I would love to rock this. Definitely stick to your true size. The smalls are working for me. I do think you could possibly get away with sizing down. I wouldn't though. I wouldn't want to press my luck and then have this riding up my gooch if I sized it down. So these are absolutely perfect. Perfect fit. All right guys, so now is the time where I wanna hear your feedback. Comment down below what you think of Chrissy Chella's brand. My overall thoughts, okay? This is just my personal thoughts. I think her sports bras, like these are really freaking cute, great quality. There's something going on here, something special. The leggings, I'm very picky with my leggings, you know that. They're not quite up to my standard, but then again, at the same time, these leggings are almost half 
of the cost of some other leggings that are available on the internet. Seamless leggings are very expensive. For Christy Chella to have them for at like $44 USD, it's pretty good. I give her mad credit for that. The colors are really beautiful. Her athleisurely sweatsuits are awesome. I definitely like them. Sometimes I like that more ruggedy fit, especially if I'm out and about and I'm not trying to wear something buttery soft that's gonna put me to sleep. But overall, my thoughts, you know, they're pretty good stuff. I feel like a few things need to be worked on, but other than that, not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, definitely give it a like. Consider subscribing for new activewear every single week. We actually have some new bombshell coming up, some fancy designs there. A huge Nike fall haul as well. And of course, more Gymshark unreleased. You already know how we do, so stay posted. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video, okay?